hi viewers uh, in this video we are going to uh, see about the microcontrollers and what is the difference between microprocessor and the microcontroller so in the module 2 in the subject mechatronics we already we have discussed about the what is a microprocessor and the elements of microprocessors now what is a microcontroller and what is the difference between the microcontroller and the microprocessor so these are the two things we are going to see right so first of all a microcontroller is the one uh, it is a microprocessor based system only and it is a, a data processing system where it has the microprocessor inside as a central central unit so these are mainly used for uh, some uh, components which is uh, having a specified task just like uh, cameras automatic camera automatic washing machine etc so uh, here how it will act this based upon the input decisions input what we are giving the information what we are giving that is going to be going to the control system and then it will used to control the uh, next step or actuate the next step by using the feedbacks okay these are all the things uh, can be done with the help of a microcontroller right let me see uh, next so there is uh, uh, we can say some information that is totally the microprocessor and the microcontrollers are having a uh, different uh, applications out there so uh, what is based on applications how it is going to be uh, deferred and one by one let me see so normally we can see in this figure uh, computers are there and automatic camera is there so here what is the function over here so automatic camera is the main function is it is going to capture the picture uh, in a quality manner and it has to show the picture right and uh, but we cannot do any animations in the cameras or we cannot do any uh, write-ups in the cameras it is only for uh, the particular function it is just to, to capture the photo in computer you can see computers uh, it consists of so many uh, peripheral devices and we, we know uh, cpu is there mouse keyboard and uh, speakers will be there a monitor is there so right so what is the function of each the one so uh, internet router all the things let me see uh, computer how uh, it will help us so normally in a computer we can uh, take uh, we can browse okay first of all normally uh, in this uh, internet uh, functions we are we with the help of whatever the data we want to get it immediately we will go for uh, browsing the contents through some uh, through the internet so the computer it can search the data wherever it is available and it will bring it to you and it can show to you so that browsing can be done uh, with the help of the computer as well as uh, then the gaming suppose we want to play the game the games graphics cards and with the help of the graphics system since the computer whatever we are giving through the joystick or the keyboard the function it will go and operate uh, uh, the information and it will shows the pictures over there and the games also can be played over there and animations we can do a number of animations uh, with the help of this computer we can do and the documentation uh, we can type uh, any documents word or excel documents and we can save it okay right so this is the documentation can be possible and gaming is possible and if you want to edit a picture uh, crop everything can be uh, taken place to take with the help of the computer right so it's a application of the computer so uh, the uh, mathematical calculations also we can do a calculator will be used in this computer we can do it a photo editing can be and uh, simulations can be done so uh, microcontroller are uh, designed only for a particular uh, task it's not like the micro uh, processors uh, uh, it's not like this uh, here a microcontroller it will uh, be used only for particular task like uh, 
camera automatic camera washing machine and the microwave oven so where only one uh, type of function can be done it's not like computer where we have multiple functions we are doing so and this uh, based on the internal structure second uh, difference based on the internal structure how it will be is uh, that is microcontroller you can see microcontroller how it is uh, made and microprocessor how it will be there so here uh, this is the microcontroller and uh, the, the cpu rom uh, interface ipo ports all are in a single chip okay so normally in a microprocessor we have seen all our output the, that is in a computer if you can see a computer uh, keyboard we know the three important parts of the computer one is keyboard and cpu that is what input cpu output right in cpu there are different parts are there okay the uh, processing unit is separate and uh, this memory in inlet output ports are different a separate separate portions are there in the computer but here in microcontroller everything all are accumulated and accumulated into a single chip cpu rom ram data bus inlet output ports everything will be packed into a single chip that's a microcontroller uh, based on the processing third one is based on the processing power and memory so how we are going to uh, say this uh, difference in in terms of uh, third one is processing power and mem memory so computer has since it has so many works so computer uh, it, it needs more uh, power for doing so many operations so that you can see uh, how uh, it is deferred from that so the clock speed of the microprocessor is 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz clock is a uh, timing which uh, takes the data and do the process and it sends the data so the clock speed how it is taking uh, the function is 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz where the two memories we have seen one is uh, ram and rom read ac random access memory and uh, read only memory which is a hard disk we can see in the microprocessor uh, that cpu normally we will say as a cpu it's a microprocessor where 128 gb to uh, 2 terabytes now that is the memory capacity of the computer normally because it's need more functions animations browsing come uh, gaming all uh, documentations so everything is there memory is more is needed and the interface it's a uh, high speed ethernet and you through usb we can connect it microcontroller if you see that is a totally different one here only megahertz one megahertz to 300 megahertz and the ram speed is uh, also you can see only 256 kp uh, so flash memory is up to 2 MB why it's th this is because it's uh, used only for a particular set of operation it's not going to do more operations over there as case of microprocessor so bit processors you can see 32 bit and 64 bits that is how much data can be carried at a time we call it as uh, uh, the bus 32 bit and 64 bit at a time it can be carried out and at a time it can be processed so microprocessor or uh, this much uh, can be done and microcontroller only 8 bit or maximum cost of 32 bits it's possible so this is the main difference with this uh, microprocessor and microcontroller we can see it depends upon the application depends upon the internal structure depends upon the cost power consumption storage and peripheral devices so uh, microprocessors first uh, uh, through the application it microprocessor used for gaming browsing documentation etc but microcontrollers is dedicated only for particular type of operation that's what we said as automatic camera or washing machines uh, or uh, microwave oven like that for particular operation only the microcontroller will be used and the storage you can see uh, memory this is a very important thing is the memory and the input output devices are connected externally in case of microprocessor but in case of microcontroller cpu memory and the inlet output are present internally so the cost when compared to uh, microprocessors the uh, cost will be uh, low of the microcontroller will be low but microprocessor will be high and the power consumption will be more in microprocessor and less in the microcontroller 
storage device we see the memory capacity of the microprocessor is 128 gb to 2 terabytes and here it is 32 kb to 2 mb so these are all the uh, basics difference between the microprocessor and the microcontrollers uh, let me see uh, some other topics in the next videos about the microprocessor architecture or microprocessor designs logic designs and all so let me see in the next videos right thank you